Hi everyone, good morning. My name is Vidur, welcome back. And I'm a senior systems engineer in Juniper Networks for Mist Wireless. And in this video, we will understand about a latest feature which is launched on the Mist dashboard, which is called the auto conversion and the auto cancellation of the dual band radios. Uh, this comes under the RRM spectrum and this is uh, launched very recently, that is four days back. And now it's available for a general public. This, this has been in, in the beta phase for a while now and there were a lot of there was a lot of testing done on this and and finally four days back we released it for for everybody else out there who's who's, who's running on mist so in, in this video we'll we'll understand more on you know how we can uh you know what this feature is and how we can configure that on the mist dashboard and make make use of it so uh let me take you to the home page first so that we know how we we navigate to this particular page this is what the uh the home page looks like we all know we have seen this in the past videos as well uh, now, now, what I want you to understand is this this feature comes under the RRM spectrum, right? So, so what RRM is, is responsible to do is, is 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 used to make sure that all our APs run on the right channel, all our APs or all the radios are blasting at the you know on the right power level, and of course with this feature launched, we we also can make sure that if 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 capable, then both the radios on the AP can work on five or you know uh, if if you don't want. Uh, if we have optimum uh, coverage of 2.4, then we can cancel out on the few radios of 2.4 as well. So I'll, I'll tell you how it works, but let's go to the place where we need to configure it. So in, in organization, we go to the RF template. Let me zoom in a bit so that it makes it's clearly visible to everyone. Organization, RF template, and I will go and click on create new template. And here we are, just give, the, give this a name of test for now. And this is what we need to focus on. So in the dual band radio settings, I see 2.4, 5 and auto option. This is only valid for AP43 and 63 because these two, these two APs have dual band radios, right? So it's the RRM which will determine if the APs are placed close enough such that some of the APs can cumulatively provide enough coverage for the entire area in 2.4. In this scenario, the 2.4 band is canceled on the remaining APs and the dual band radio moves to operate on the 5 gigahertz band, right? This, this is called the auto conversion. So in, in short, if you are on 2.4, which means one radio will work on 2.4, other will work on 5. If it's 5 gigahertz, we are forcing it to work on 5, both of them. Now, if it's auto, that's when the, that's when the, uh, that's when the uh, algorithm comes in the picture. Now, RRM will automatically decide the operating band of dual band radios. It could be both 5 as well, right? That's, that's, that's the power that we're giving it now. Okay, this is for uh, this is for auto band uh, conversion. Now, come let's let's see what 2.4 gigahertz settings here. This is enabled by default, of course. I have the option of selecting auto here as well. Now, if I select auto, it means RRM will automatically disable 2.4 gigahertz band radios based on the coverage and capacity. This is called auto cancellation. What it means is <clears throat> all the APs without dual band, as I said. Dual band APs are only for AP43 and 63, but all the other APs which are not dual band, okay, uh, can also be set to auto. Uh, but the 2.4 gigahertz radio cannot be converted, only cancelled when not needed. This is referred to as auto cancellation. When non dual band APs are set to auto, the RRM will determine if APs are placed close enough such that some APs are. Are, are enough to provide enough coverage for the entire area the remaining APs will then be cancelled and then you know will cancel their 2.4 gigahertz band now this is something next level because we have been trying to achieve this for a while now and also this is called you know this is how we can optimize the RRM network this is how we can optimize your you know your your deployed already deployed wireless network we, we can actually use this to make sure you know that all the APs which are dual band capable can run on both 5 gigahertz and when they should run on 5 gigahertz or, or you know, uh, if if they're if if they don't support uh, dual band, then we can actually use auto cancellation, you know, to make sure some of the 2.4 gigahertz radios are shut down when they're not needed. Now, this is not done based on the AP to AP RSSI value. This is done on reinforcement learning. This is done on unsupervised machine learning, which is which is running in 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 the platform for us. So this is actually making sure that your network, your wireless network, is optimized to the best possible way and the users on the ground are having a great time. This is all strictly driven by that. We, we understand that Mist is a user experience company, right? We wanna make sure that user experience on the ground is top notch. 
and that is the reason why we have launched this kind of feature it's out there for you to deploy it's out there for you to use and i and i highly recommend for all the deployments going on in the mist right now all the big deployments use this feature this is this is next level this is going to make sure your network is optimized and the performance on the ground is impeccable right uh, guys thank you so much in case you have any questions around this i mean this is where we configure it in the rf template uh, you, you can you can you can you can give it a shot you can try it out on your own on your home orgs or on your networks and if you have any questions or you run into any problems any any doubts just reach out to me on the comment section and i will be here to address them for you thank you so much guys i hope this was helpful and you have a wonderful day